Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got another new release for us. It's uh, kind of crazy. There's really been a lot of good stuff <laughs> coming out lately. Have not been able to resist. So, so this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. It's their new uh, six pan palette and there are six brand new exclusive shades to this palette. So if you're interested in my first impressions of this, so I did just receive this in the mail, so this is a first impressions. If you're interested in my first impressions, a little demo with it, we're gonna play with all the powders, then just keep on watching. I am so excited for this. As soon as I saw preview pics of this and I heard that all the shades are new and they're exclusive to this palette, I was like, yes, yes, I definitely need to pick this up. I love ambient pressed powders. I actually did not have good luck with the loose powder that everyone seems to love. It just looked really thick on my skin, even, no matter how little I put on. Anyway, that didn't work out for me. Pressed powders, I love. So their logo on this palette, and I think the logo they're gonna be using on everything of theirs that is, I think, vegan and cruelty-free, they're going to be putting this, oh, that's reflective. They're gonna be using this, Oh God, is that better? This H with the bunny in there. I love it. How cute is that? And also, before I forget, 5% of sales or profits of this palette will go to the non-human rights project. So that was another incentive for me to purchase this. Not that I needed much of an incentive, but that is awesome. So thank you, Hourglass, for doing that. So inside the box, oh, we have a couple of things in here. Let's see, we have directions for use. Avoid contact with eyes. If any adverse reaction occurs, stop using the product. Inform your doctor if your condition persists. That is their directions for use. And then there is a nice like info card uh, thing inside. So let's see. So again, there are six new shades. There are two uh, like finishing powders, uh, two blushes, one bronze and one highlight. So let's take a look at this. Oh, it's so, oh my, this is beautiful. So here is the palette, gorgeous. So these two up here are two new finishing powders. This one is a new bronze. These two are two new blushes. And this one is a highlight. I can see already that a couple of these have some micro glitters in there. So this bronze color here has some micro glitters and this blush over here, this peachy one has some micro glitters. But let's go ahead and swatch. Sometimes I feel like you see micro glitters in the pan, but you don't actually see them like on. They like dust away immediately. So anyway, we shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. I wonder how easily they'll show up on my skin tone. So here are the first two new finishing powders. So this one is called Soft Light, and this one is called Filtered Light. That is a little bit hard to see, but hopefully the camera's picking it up. So Soft Light, Filtered Light, and then I'm gonna do the bronze and the highlight together. So here's the bronze, and then here is the highlight. So here's the bronze, here's the highlight. Bronze and the highlight. Oh, wow. My goodness. I really love their highlights, so I'm very excited for this. And then next, let's go ahead and swatch the blushes. So here is Nude Glow, and here is Mood Flush. So this is the peachier one, and then this is the one that was in the middle. All right, enough swatching. Let's go ahead and use these. So uh, again, I'm seeing some micro glitters in the bronze, but I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna use my Tom Ford bronzer brush. I wanna see how easily it is to get into this little pan. It's okay, it's okay. I kinda have to like play around with the positioning of the brush here, but it's okay, it seems to work. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the mirror that's included in here, which is a nice size. And just brush this under my cheekbones and along my temple and forehead. So I'm just gonna apply it to half of my face so you can see the difference. Yeah, so it seems like this is one of those powders where you see some micro glitters in the pan, but I don't see it actually transfer onto my skin. So they must just kind of dust away. But that is a really pretty sheen. I should mention, I have foundation, concealer, and powder on, and that's it. So there is golden bronze light. 
And it's nice. The tone is actually is not what I expected. It looks a little bit warmer in the pan to me, but on my cheeks, I think it, it's like neutral leaning a little bit warm, but it's not as warm as I thought it would be from looking at the pan. It's also not as warm as I thought it would be considering the other hourglass bronzers that I have. Those are very, very warm. Those are for days where I'm feeling like really tan. So I like this. I think this is a little bit more universal. All right, let me go ahead and apply it to the other side of my face. That is very, very nice. And if you have my skin tone, I think it's great. I'm just looking at my swatch here. I think if you have like medium to darker skin tone, this is not gonna work for you. I, th I think it may just get a little bit lost, but I do like this on my skin tone. Very pretty. From the promo pics, uh, I thought possibly that this palette was gonna be a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but I don't think it's quite as like deep and contrasty as the promo pics make it look. It's a very shadowy kind of picture, the one that Hourglass has on their site and on their Instagram feed. And I think it's a little bit like lighter and brighter than those pictures kind of depict this. So uh, just to let you know. So I am going to go ahead and start with this blush because this one has uh, micro glitters in it, again, just in the pan, and I wanna see if they show up on the cheek. So in my experience with Hourglass blushes, they are incredibly pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with a very fluffy brush. This is my Chikahoto RH1. I'm gonna dip into Nude Glow. Wow, look at that. That has a lot of sheen to it. If you like a matte blush, this is not for you. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of a similarity here between this and that Chanel Reflex blush, which I think has been sold out, and I don't know if it's part of the regular line. There's been a lot of confusion around that silly little blush. But if you are interested in something similar, I think you'll get a very, very kind of close dupe with this uh, nude glow. That is very pretty. I guess I'll go in with this mood flush uh, on my other cheek or maybe, yeah, let's do it on my other cheek. We are here for science, right? We're here to just see how these work. And I'm using the same brush. Oh, and I don't see any of the micro glitters here. So I think the micro glitters that you see in the pan just sort of dust away, which I like. Oh, that's a really pretty pink. It is, and you can kind of tell in the pan, but this mood flush color is not quite as uh, satiny as the nude glow. The nude glow, you can see, it almost has like highlighter built in there. The mood flush is a little bit more subdued in its finish, but the color is really, really beautiful. It's like the perfect kind of like youthful pink. I feel like this is like an evening blush for me. And this is one of those, like, I just want to feel like fresh and healthy. That's what this uh, color does for me. Let's try the highlighter. And the highlighter is called Champagne Strobe Light. And they're Vanish high flash vanish sticks. I can't remember what they're called, but they're highlighting cream sticks. My favorite one was that champagne flash. So I'm hoping this will have kind of the same tone and effect. And by the looks of this swatch, I think so. So I've got my uh, Sonia G Sculpt 3 brush. This is that smaller fan brush. And I'm going to go into this highlight and dust it. So just take a look now. This is the blush. It has quite a bit of glow there. I just want to point that out before I put the highlighter on so maybe we can make note of the difference because it will it may be difficult to see like what's the blush and what's the highlight. Give it a shot. Oh, no, that's not difficult to see. <laughs> that is some serious highlight. Okay. I love that it disappears and then bam, gone, here, gone. That is good. That is good. This is just like that three pan palette they came out with over the past holidays. I think they released it last November and it has that chrome packaging. Oh, and those are some of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is just like that. Same finish, same formula, same texture. And now let's go ahead and play with these finishing powders. So I'm gonna take out my trusty finishing brush, which is my Sonia G Face One brush. And I'm gonna go into this first one. This is soft light. It's a little bit paler than this one. I picked up just a bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead, what is that? I'm gonna go ahead and buff with that color. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's pretty. It's very subtle. Oh, I like that. Very, very subtle, but it seemed to buff everything out really nicely. I am actually gonna use this middle shade here. I'm gonna use it on this side. I just wanna see how deep it is, if it's something that I can actually use. I think that's a little bit too deep for me. I think though I could use that to kind of buff out my blush and uh, bronzer area and use this lighter one, the soft light. So this is filtered light. So filtered light I feel like I could use over my cheek products and then soft light I could probably use all over my face. I'm gonna kind of dip into both powders and buff. You know what I find interesting is in those two finishing powders, I don't actually see any micro glitters. Maybe a little bit? Oh, a little bit. So there are just a few micro glitters in the medium one, the filter light. And I feel like I see that on my skin. A lot more so than the blush and the bronze, which have like visibly a lot more micro glitters. Isn't that interesting? I see it definitely a lot more with the filtered light. I don't see it on this side where I use the soft light, but I see it here and I see it on my forehead where I use the filtered light. It's not like an obnoxious amount. I don't feel like it's a complete turn off for me. It looks okay. It's just, you know, I'm sitting under really bright lights and they're kind of like glistening <laughs> off of my forehead, which is like a little, a little off-putting. Well, this is just a first impression. What is my hair doing? Again, this is just a first impressions, but I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I love these two blushes. I love the, um, how one is peachy, one is a little bit cooler, one has a lot more kind of like a, a sheen to it. One is a little bit more subtle in its finish. It's great. The highlighter is stunning, is absolutely beautiful. You know, you have to really like a pretty bold highlight. If you do though, this one is for you. It is beautiful. The bronze is very nice. I think it's very subtle, which I was a little bit happy about. The couple of bronzers I've tried from Hourglass have been very a little bit too pigmented. And for me, I like bronzers that can be built up. I feel like if you go heavy handed with a bronzer, it just looks really terrible and it ends up looking patchy, like no matter what the formula. So I'm glad that this was uh, subtle. And these two finishing powders I think are really nice. I like how both of the tones uh, work for my skin tone depending on like where on my face I want to use it. So far I think this palette is my favorite ambient lighting palette from Hourglass so far probably because all of them are very different, but I feel like in all the past ambient lighting palettes, whether I've had the powders or not, whether they've existed or not, there's always been either one or two that have kind of like thrown me off a little bit, like, eh, I like the rest, this I just won't use. I can't find the one that I got from last year. I think actually I sent that to Georgia Harris when we did our collab, but I have the one from the year before with this um, like faux marble packaging and this one uh, was okay, you know, it was it was nice, but the micro glitters in this powder were like, they showed up on the skin, it was a lot. I do like the two blushes, and then I think, yeah, this one was a bronze, and it was just way too um, light. Like, it just wasn't a bronze. I ended up using it kind of as a blush. This one is beautiful. This one is just great. I love all the powders. I feel like Hourglass like listened to everyone's feedback about all the past ambient lighting edit palettes. And I think the biggest complaint or, or the most critical feedback that they got was that there was always like a dim light and a diffuse light or something in the palette that was like, Ugh, you know, I'm gonna pay $80 and I already have like two out of the six powders. And I'm just, I'm so happy that they came out with six brand new powders for this palette. I just think it makes it really, really special. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup before I just kind of keep rambling and I'll be right back. So I just finished off my makeup look. I used the new Natasha Denona Safari palette, which I love. Uh, I hope you guys caught my review of this uh, either yesterday or a couple days ago. And I also used one of my favorite kind of pinky lip colors. And this is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 508. So first impressions of this palette, I really, really love it. I think this is the best one by far. I've already mentioned 
mention that. And I will definitely get back to you guys about how I feel since this is just a first impressions. Uh, I will give you some sort of more in-depth feedback on this. I'm traveling next week and I will definitely be bringing this with me. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Go ahead and comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.